A curious fascination posing to mark record-breaking heat. You know, how many people in the world can say they've been to the hottest place in the world? It's almost like climbing Mount Everest. Death Valley in California, aptly named, broke through a hundred years of heat notching above 55 degrees. I just thought it was so cool. I had to bring my nephews too. But it's not cool. June 2024 is even warmer than, than June 2023 by a substantial margin. Copernicus, the climate monitoring service, warns we're on a precipitous road, now experiencing a full year of global temperatures rising at or above 1.5 degrees Celsius. It doesn't mean that we have breached that limit set by the Paris Agreement, but it, it can show that we are getting closer to this limit. Las Vegas topped 48 degrees Sunday, shattering records as the heat wave baking 10% of Americans pushed into this week. Make sure you're in the shade if you can be. Don't be walking out here because a lot of people can just fall out. Stay hydrated. Volunteer veterans in Oklahoma installed air conditioners and fans for people at risk. In Seattle, a hardware store reported a run on fans. I think, I think I'm going to buy this. Fires already threatening in California could grow as firefighters work under intense heat to try to control them. Scientists say the streak of record heat is propelled by emissions from burning fossil fuels and last year's El Nino weather pattern. I like to make the analogy of a furnace. So your house isn't warmest when the furnace first comes on, when the El Nino begins to develop. It's warmest when the furnace has been running. That furnace and the lack of a cooling effect at night is forecast to linger in the U.S. and Canada for much of the week. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Toronto.